days. The test version we had came with 19 inch wheels while the standard model uses 17 inch rims. The tailgate when open reveals a cargo space of 34 and a half cubic feet. That expands to 71 cubic feet when the second row of seats are folded down. Speaking of the second row, we did like that it's on a track and can slide forward to make more cargo space or back to make it easier for passengers to get in and out. Front seat passengers of course get the royal treatment with plenty of space and access to the center stack for climate and entertainment system controls. The Santa Fe Sport has two options for its powertrain. The base power plant is an all aluminum 2.4 liter gas direct injected four cylinder engine. It turns out 190 horsepower and 181 foot pounds of torque. Or there's the optional 2.0 liter turbocharged four that comes with 264 horsepower and 269 foot pounds of torque. Mated to a six speed automatic gearbox in front and all wheel drive configurations, they deliver similar fuel economy ratings and can even tow a small trailer without a strain. We found the ride and handling to be better than the last generation of the Santa Fe, and while not quite a luxury experience, it will be more than adequate for daily commuting for a long time. In short, it has become the station wagon of its time, a multifunction vehicle that can be passed down to the next generation of drivers. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.